equivalences of his statements and contrapositive, and the converse and inverse of a statement. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon dito sa ating matsayang talakayan. Kaya, stay tuned! Hello, grade 8 learners! For today's lesson, we will discuss equivalences of statements and contrapositive and the converse and inverse of a statement. At the end of this video, we are going to illustrate the equivalences of letter A, the statement and contrapositive, letter B, the converse and inverse of a statement. Let us recall the previous lesson that we had using this slogan. I'm loving it. So write a conditional statement with this slogan. For the conditional statement, if I'm eating at McDonald's, then I'm loving it. And its converse is, if I'm loving it, then I'm eating at McDonald's. How about its inverse? And its inverse, if I'm eating at McDonald's, then I'm not loving it. And for the contrapositive, if I'm not loving it, then I'm not eating at McDonald's. Let us use another slogan. Open a Coke, open happiness. So in if-then statement, we have, If you open a Coke, then you are happy. What is now its converse statement? Correct! The converse statement is, if you are happy, then you open a Coke. How about its inverse? Excellent! Its inverse is, if you don't open a Coke, then you are not happy. How about the contrapositive? Correct! Its contrapositive is, if you are not happy, then you don't open a Coke. Another is Obey Your Thirst. This is another slogan. What is its conditional statement? In the conditional statement, if you drink a Sprite, then you obey your thirst. So its converse is If you obey your thirst, then you drink a Sprite. How about its inverse? Correct! Its inverse is, if you do not drink a Sprite, then you do not obey your thirst. And for the contrapositive, if you do not obey your thirst, then you do not drink a Sprite. Let's try this statement. If measure of angle A is 45, then angle A is acute. What is its converse? Correct! The converse statement is, If angle A is acute, then the measure of angle A is 45. How about the inverse statement? The inverse statement is, If measure of angle A is not equal to 45, then angle A is not acute. And its contrapositive is, if angle A is not acute, then the measure of angle A is not equal to 45. Now, let us analyze the given statements. Going back to the conditional statement, if the measure of angle A equals 45, then angle A is acute. Is this statement true or false? The answer is, True. Okay, bakit siya true? 
It is a true statement kasi ka, kung ang measurement niya ay 45 degrees, so it is classified as an acute angle. Dahil ang acute angle ay merong measurement na less than 90 degrees. Next, how about the converse statement? If angle A is acute, then the measure of angle A is 45. Is this statement true or false? The statement is false. Why false? Okay. Kung ang angle A is acute, it does not necessary na ang measurement niya ay 45. So, pwedeng uh, iba ang value. So, pwedeng 50 or any measurement less than 90 degrees. Okay, next, how about the inverse statement? If the measure of angle A is not equal to 45, then angle A is not acute. Okay, the answer is false. Okay, bakit false? Kasi kung ang, ang measurement ay 45, it is not necessary na hindi na siya acute. Okay, kung hindi siya 45, pwedeng hindi rin yan, hindi rin siya right angle or hindi rin siya obtuse angle. So, pwedeng ganun. Okay, now, how about if it is contrapositive? If angle A is not acute, then measure of angle A is not 45. So, the statement is correct. Okay, so when we are going to analyze this, the conditional statement and contrapositive are both true. The converse and its inverse are both false. So what does it mean? A conditional statement and its contrapositive are either both true or both false. Similarly, the converse and its inverse of a conditional statement are either both true or both false. And these pairs of statements are called equivalent statements. Example, given the conditional statement, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Is this statement true or false? Yes, it's true. How about it's converse? If two angles are supplementary, then they form a linear pair. Is this statement true or false? This statement is false. And it's inverse. If two angles do not form a linear pair, then they are not supplementary. So, is this statement true or false? The statement is false. And for the contrapositive, if two angles are not supplementary, then they do not form a linear pair. So, it is true. Now that we have the conditional and the contrapositive are both true, so these are equivalent statements. The converse and its inverse are both false, and these are what we call equivalent statements. Another example, if angle B is a right angle, then measure of angle B is 90 degrees. Is this true or false? The statement is true. How about its converse? If measure of angle B is 90, then angle B is a right angle. Is this statement true or false? The statement is true. How about the inverse? So its inverse is, if angle B is not a right angle, then measure of angle B is not 90 degrees. So this statement is true. And for the contrapositive, if measure of angle B is not 90 degrees, then angle B is not a right angle. And this statement is also true. Bakit true lahat ng statement? Kasi nga, 
ang right angle, ang kanyang definition, its measurement is 90 degrees. So, wala namang ibang measurement ang right angle kundi 90 degrees. Kaya, kung yan ay 90 degrees, of course, it is a right angle. So, conditional and contrapositive statement are both true. Converse and its inverse are both true. So, these are what we call the pairs of statement which are equivalent statements. Now, so ano naman yung tinatawag na biconditional statement? When a conditional and its converse are true, we can combine them as a true single biconditional statement. So kung titingnan natin, yung previous example natin, ang kanyang conditional statement and converse ay parehas na true. So we can combine them as a true single biconditional statement. So paano natin gagawin biconditional statement? So, we can write a biconditional statement by joining two parts of each conditional with the phrase if and only if. Using the previous example, in the conditional statement, if angle B is a right angle, then measure of angle B is 90. So, this statement is true. When we get its converse, if the measure of angle B is 90, then angle B is a right angle. So, this statement is also true. When the conditional statement and its converse are both true, so we can combine them and that is what we call biconditional statement. So, combining them with the word or phrase if and only if, so its biconditional statement is angle B is a right angle if and only if its measure or the measure of angle B is 90. Now, let's try this statement. Complementary angles are any two angles whose sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Since the statement is not written in if-then form, so let us write first in if-then form. So, in if-then form or conditional statement is, if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. So, what can you say about this statement? Is this true or false? The statement is true. How about its converse statement? What is its converse statement? Correct. Its converse statement is if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees, then they are complementary. Is this statement true or false? The statement is true. So since they are both true, so we can join them to form a biconditional statement. So we have two angles are complementary if and only if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Now, reversing the process. Write two statements that form this biconditional statement. So, ang given naman natin ngayon ay biconditional statement, isulat natin kung ano yung kanyang conditional and converse statement. In biconditional statement, an angle is obtuse if and only if its measure is greater than 90 but less than 180 degrees. So the conditional statement is, if an angle is obtuse, then its measure is greater than 90 but less than 180. And its converse is correct. If the measure of an angle is greater than 90 but less than 180, then it is obtuse. Great job, grade 8! Now we have done. So let us try this activity. Get your paper and your pen. Write the conditional 
converse, and biconditional of this statement. Supplementary angles are any two angles whose sum of their measures is 180 degrees. And that's for today guys. Mag-practice at magtsaga upang lalong maging matkali. Again, this is Teacher Dali na nagsasabing, Practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching! Thank you.